It's honor to be with you all today, to have the opportunity to visit with you for a few moments, and offer my heartiest congratulations for the accomplishment of your high school degree. To all the parents and family members joining us today, I resonate and understand the pride and emotion that you're feeling today as my youngest daughter just graduated from high school last weekend. I also understand the feelings of excitement and anticipation you have for the days, months, and years ahead. I grew up in a small farming community in central South Dakota called Oneida. My father owned and operated a television and appliance business for 42 years in that community. One of the hallmarks of his success in business was to provide the best possible customer service he could. I learned so much from working in that business throughout my high school and college days, and as my high school graduation drew near, I made the decision to attend NSU, and while my dad thought I'd be pursuing a degree in business, to return and join him in the family business, I had other ideas. When I told him my plan was instead to major in music education, he could have reacted with disappointment, but instead, his support and encouragement was steadfast and beyond comprehension. And while I may be new to BCSU, I'm certainly no stranger to North Dakota, and specifically this part of North Dakota. I spent 16 years teaching at the International Music Camp up at the Peace Gardens. I adjudicated the North Dakota All-State Band and Orchestra Auditions for four years, and my oldest daughter teaches and coaches volleyball and basketball in Kindred, North Dakota. And now that I'm a Valley City State Viking and my oldest daughter coaches the Vikings, I'm very happy to finally admit that I can cheer for some Vikings that have a chance to win. <laughs> Speaking of winning, you are all fortunate to be graduating from a school system with successful and reputable academic, athletic, and activity programs. The girls basketball second place finish at state, and the speech team earning a fourth place finish. One of the best high school orchestras in the state, and a strong and reputable JROTC, JROTC program. Congratulations to you all. I hope you've taken advantage of the opportunity to become involved during these past four years, but know that the years that lie ahead for you will be right with opportunity. My message to you today is simple. Pursue your passion, and no matter what that passion is, always give your very best, trying to be the best you you can be. Whether your plans are to attend a technical school, college, or university, enter the military or workforce, or continue work on the family farm, I encourage you to always be searching for ways to grow individually and stay on the path of continuous improvement. I have to admit, 35 years ago when I decided to pursue graduate degrees in music, I never could have anticipated that I would someday have the opportunity to be a university president. But as I continued to work hard and be the best student, teacher, professor, and administrator I could, opportunities were presented and doors were opened along the way that made this journey possible. From my first days in college, teaching, graduate school, and eventually becoming a university professor, I always tried to be the best at whatever I was pursuing. I never quit when the path became difficult, and I learned more from my failures than my successes. In fact, it's been said it can take four or five failures and, and setbacks before you have even one success. So if you've experienced a few setbacks, then get ready. Success is just around the corner. And know that as you grow in years, your own definitions of success will change. But if you live your life with integrity, honesty, and compassion, follow your passion and stay true to yourself, you will find what you like, and you will like what you find. I hope you'll take some time to celebrate and appreciate all those who've helped you and, and will continue to be your supporters in the years ahead. Your teachers, your administrators, your friends, and most importantly, your parents and families. Please take a moment today to thank them for all they have done to help you succeed to this point. The successes you've had at Devils Lake High School matter. The friendships you've made here matter. The decisions you have made here matter. The individual and team successes matter. The academic and leadership accomplishments matter. So as you enter the next exciting chapter of your lives, not knowing what that might hold, I encourage you to never give up, even when it gets hard. 
Always look for ways to grow and improve as an individual. Embrace the differences of others and fill your buckets with knowledge, kindness, compassion, integrity, and hard work. Finally, I'd like to leave you with a quote from a very famous doctor, Dr. Seuss, who said, be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Congratulations, grads. I wish you the very best for a successful next chapter as you move forward from this day and begin creating your future. Thank you for letting me join you on this very important day. Thank you, Dr. LeFay. I have several people to recognize who assisted in making today come together. Rick Newcomb, the orchestra, Samantha Richards, and the senior choir for their musical selections. Todd Hunterly, Wes Whitmer, and the ROTC students for the presentation of colors. The students of the junior class serving as escorts and members of the honor guard. Todd Dufany and the custodial staff for their extra efforts in making certain the facility was prepared for this event. Vicki Morrill and the kitchen staff for the excellent senior breakfast. Krista Brodina and Jason Weaver for their assistance with graduation and graduation practice. And finally, the biggest thank you to Lisa Gaffman and Cheryl Peterson for all of their work in getting programs, flowers, diplomas, caps, gowns, and basically everything to make the principal look like he didn't forget anything. So please give all of them a hand. say nice things about this group later, but that's the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> wow. Good job. Makes what I'm going to say later look really smart. <laughs> we will now recognize those students graduating today with highest distinction. They will each graduate with a grade point average of 3.95 or higher for their high school career. These students are wearing two gold honor cords. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all have been announced. Bethany Bolek, daughter of Lyle and Danica Bolek. Gina Burtness, daughter of Stephen Stacy Burtness. Thomas Klaus, son of Philip and Michelle Klaus. Abby Heilman, daughter of Todd and Amy Heilman. Kiara Olson, daughter of Jeremy Olson and Adria Smith. Brianna Rance, daughter of Wayne and Donna Rance. Sydney Stephan, daughter of David and Pam Stephan. Kylie Toso, daughter of Jason and Nikki Toso, and Julia Toso. Taylor Winju, daughter of Dean and Christy Winju. Please give them a round of applause. We have several students being recognized as honor student. Would all the students with one gold honor court please stand and be recognized? This is our third year of recognizing volunteerism and work with my talent, which was formerly United Blood Services. At this time, I would like all graduates who are being recognized by my talent with the purple and orange cords to please stand. And now our volunteers. Each of these students were able to meet the requirements of the program we started in October of 2014. These students turned in a minimum of 100 hours of volunteerism, while some are near 300. Would all students have, who have earned one, two, or three volunteer cords please stand? became part of graduation in 2017. Each student wearing one has enlisted with the guard prior to graduation. Would this group of students please stand? We have 110 young adults ready to receive their diploma. 
The diploma is a symbol of their educational achievements and completion of school. The class of 2019 has received academic and athletic awards as well as numerous scholarships to continue their education. If we were to list all of them, we would be here for hours. However, we did come up with a total. Um, the total scholarship money that we have had reported to the school that this group has been awarded for their continuing of their education stands right now at $286,000. The picture on the senior wall is located as you walk from the gym towards the commons, and it displays what some of our seniors will be doing next year. Just about every North Dakota college and university is represented, as well as schools in Minnesota, Massachusetts, Oregon, Colorado, and the list goes on. This group definitely has set their sights on their future, and I know they will do well. Each class leaves their own unique impression as they graduate. In describing the class of 2019, I would start with the words kindness and leadership. This group embodied our school culture of being bucket fillers and not bucket dippers. Yes, I did steal that from my kindergarten teaching wife. <laughs> they got along as a class. They showed compassion and patience, but above all else, they were simply nice people, and you just witnessed it. This is truly a kind and caring group of young men and women. Being a role model in 2019 is not easy. Watch ESPN for 10 minutes or any news station, and it will show you what not to do. However, the class of 2019 rose above this. This class has displayed the kind of leadership we can all be very proud of. They have led by example, they have guided our student body in a positive direction, and they have challenged themselves to be great. This class was appropriate in the crowded activities. They displayed sportsmanship as participants, and they were the role models we wanted in our classrooms and hallways. I do not always have the ability to stand here and say this class will be missed. This one will be missed greatly. Luke, you were right. You have a great class, and we are going to miss you. You have truly had a positive impact on the halls of Devils Lake High School. I'm very excited to see what each of you does with your future. I'm excited with the unending potential this class is showing and the commitment to your individual goals that you've shown thus far. I know you'll continue to represent Devils Lake High School very, very well. So now the moment you've been waiting for. Would the class of 2019 please rise? English and speech instructor will read the names of the graduates. Steve Halderson, member of the Devil's Lake School Board, will be presenting the diplomas. He will be assisted by Native American Education Advisory Committee Chairman Peter Alboy Jr. Corey Meyer, School Board Vice President, will be turning the tassels. Steve Halderson, School Board Member, I hereby certify that these young men and women have completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Public Instruction of the State of North Dakota and the Devil's Lake Public School Board. They are ready to receive their diplomas. Candidates, prepare to come forward at this time. Graduates will remain standing throughout the presentation of the diplomas. Will the members of the audience please be courteous and allow the graduates to leave the stage and area below the stairs to avoid any stoppage in the ceremony. If you have presentations, just let them get off the side a little bit. Thank you. Luke John Onstead. Michael Scott Abrahamson. Kara Elbers. Matthew Alexander. Danae Rose Allery. Mason Ames. Javon Michael Archer.
Jenna Nicole Bearwald. Anna Marie Bartlett. Phoenix K. Belgard. Bethany Ann Belek. Matthew John Bess. Dominic B. Bjornsson. Landon Laurel Blanchfield. Nora Callen Brock. Gavin David Brown. Rachel Lee Beekler. Taylor David Bunnell. Gina Ray Burtness. Dwayne A. Charbonneau. Elena H. Clary. Sean William David Clementich. Thomas Philip Klaus. Jonathan Cox. Joshua Dolan. Cody Austin Dakota. Sana Lauren De Jong. Tyler A. Duncan. Kiara Durbin. Emily Marie Ebach. Grayson John Ebach. Macy M. Ebach. Shayla Ann Eberts. Lainey Beth Estenson. <laughs> Reese Gainsforth. <laughs> Gaia Gerardi. <laughs> Kyle Joseph Groton. Jacob Christopher Green. Bryn Marie Hansen.
Forrest J. Hansen. Derek M. Harlow. Abby Lou Heilman. Amalia Elaine Hicks. Julian Weiler Hoy. Gavin Hofford. Joseph Mark Hornstein. Mandy Faye Howitt. Sydney F. Jacobs. Holly May King. Jesse Allen Kirk. Jalen Clements Root. Jean Marie Clintworth. Luke Kanowski. Jaden May Kraler. Amanda Sue Lang. Paige Renee Larson. Alexis Paige Lehman. Megan M. Leach. Byron Little Ghost Jr. Blair Bradley Martinson. Eileen Mazenauer. Olivia Ann McCarthy. Trenton Joseph McLeod. Addison Rain Meyer.
Ina Nieto Roca. Abby Joel Olson. Kiara Jalen Olson. Hunter James Person. Alexis D. Pledger. Madison Ann Brzezinski. Brianna Lynn Rance. Nathan Ryan Ryerson. Regan Wade Ruley. Jacob Adam Richards. Caleb Michael Rodriguez. Riley Christopher Rood. Abigail Rovness. Gage Lee Rosencrantz. Kylie Ann Rowley. Keely Jewel Runs Through. John Rutten. <laughs> Alyssa Tara Shaw. <laughs> Taylor Leroy Shaw. <laughs> Tate jo Joseph Schmaltz. Colin Schneider. Mackenzie Nicole Schubert. Christopher Richard Shepard. Sydney Nicole Steffen.